Okay, so <clears throat> almost ready here. You can see I've uh, taken toilet paper roll, cut them down to the width of the fuselage. Inside the toilet paper rolls, I put uh, uh, like tongue depressors or big old popsicle sticks, craft sticks, whatever. These suckers. So that's what gives it its compression compression strength. Because you know I was grabbing a lot right here and it was really sinking in, but now I can grab it and it holds it pretty nice there. It doesn't really bow and bend. Um, also put some popsicle sticks up on the top, um, and then the engine pod is possible sticked. You can see I put uh, corner braces that uh, dramatically increased the rigidity and strength of this whole thing. Same thing right there. All that. So now it's pretty strong that way. Pretty strong that way. And obviously so when it goes inside. that goes inside anyways as it goes inside um this won't you know when i grab it from the nose if i grab it from the nose or if it just even takes a hit it uh will survive it better so you can see i swapped out my set screw as the current set screw is stripped so we'll see how long that stays on i'll eventually have to re-tap it or something um 11 of 11 by 7 prop and then, uh, what should we call it? Oh, another thing I've done is the landing gear consists of a couple of pieces of this, yeah. like a uh, quarter I'll inch. Right. Good job, you know. I'll be right there, you know. Quarter inch paneling. Use some tires from my son's uh, toy car. Um, some nuts and bolts hanging, holding it all on there. But this basically goes into the wing. And then it's just hot glued on there. Um, this was an existing front nose gear that I had that I just cut off, put a block of foam on, and glued it on. Um, I'm in the process of strengthening the wingtips. This is usually a problem area after a couple of hits if it takes them. This will start to crumple and, and give way, but uh, this kind of holds it there. And it's kind of buried in there and buried underneath there. But uh, this won't give way. And then this is to strengthen the rest of the aileron starting from the control horn area because obviously as it goes out further out it has a tendency to bend and give more so um anyways there's a little movement in there but it's also probably because the servo is not glued down yet um swap that out um you can see the tail section is possible still stick to all the hill um And then uh, 40 amp ESC, and then uh, yeah, I'm about to uh, put in a rudder servo. So another thing I noticed right now is that for me, that's not too bad, I guess. I just would want that stiffer, but maybe I'll put something there. Maybe I'll put a small piece of popsicle stick towards the end or something. I don't know. We'll Almost there, you know. Um, do it on one side and, and then come it over. So, yeah. <laughs> Little tiny hose. But uh, so far, tech is pretty good. I just got to get the rudder in there to get some steerability. And uh, the wing's still loose right now. I haven't really mounted it, mounted it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so far, so good.